What is up PSG family and welcome back to our NBA Live 19 Wing Playmaker series. Now before we jump into this, let's go ahead and throw in a few more tattoos, okay? I really like this one, this one sleeve right here. So I said let me go with it. It says loyalty on the top shoulder. It says faith by your wrist. I mean what more do you need in life? Loyalty and faith, why not? Okay, we'll go with that one. Looks pretty solid. And it's a legendary tattoo apparently, so we'll take it. We got that one out of a crate. Next up, I actually wanted to put on another tattoo on my leg. This is probably not the best thing to be doing before your semifinals appearance, but you know what? We're just going to go ahead and get tatted up so we can look good on the cameras and all that. You know what I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and get this animal tattoo. I've been watching a lot of Planet Earth lately, so I'm really into animals right now. We'll rock with that one. So we're looking pretty solid right now. Now along with that, we have the ability to upgrade our icon level. We're almost there, man. We're chugging along. And we finally get to LeBron James's dunk animation. So obviously, we got to equip these bad boys. So we didn't work this hard to not equip them. So let's go ahead and check out the animation screen. And they look good to me. A little windmill right there. We will take it. And we will rock with these dunks to start out our semifinal career. So into the semifinals we go. We still didn't know who we were playing. And apparently we're going to be playing the Philadelphia 76ers. Not good. Not good for one reason. It's because Joel Embiid's on that team. We're playing on superstar difficulty. So chances are this, this dude's going to be dropping like 50 points a game. Definitely not a good look. But we're going to do what we can and make sure we get this W. So here we go. We're on their home court. So they're starting out with a home court advantage. If we get this victory on Philadelphia home court, we're going to be pretty much set. Now, I know you guys are like, whoa, we're already jumping into the second quarter. Yeah, we are because the first quarter was very, very dull in terms of highlights. There was nothing going on. And the game was like, eh, it was a little bit boring. However, into the second quarter and further on, this game is probably one of the craziest games that I've played thus far. So it's 26 apiece right now. 76ers turn this ball over. I'm getting loose on this fast break, putting up that layup, getting that one to go in. Now you can see I'm only one of five. So that was my first field goal. However, that would not be my last in the second quarter. Your boy will start chugging along, start taking over in the second quarter, getting my points up because we really needed it badly. Down by two points, Kawhi Leonard, little mid-range pull-up. Gets the lucky bounce. That one drops in. Kawhi Leonard with 18 points, by the way. He is completely destroying this game right now. Kyle Lowry comes up with the steal. Your boy's already on the other end waiting for the ball. Another tough layup. Gets that one to go in. And I have eight points of my own in this game. So we go back up by two points. 76ers with the ball right here. What a tough shot. I don't know why I always get crossed up. But I did get crossed up. However, we come back on the other end. Kawhi Leonard doing his thing 21 points for this man in the first half he is killing it so that's why i just kept going to him man you gotta feed the hot hand grabbing the defensive rebound pushing the pace right here dumping this one off inside to jonas as he finishes that one off so my assist game is looking good right now i wasn't doing too much scoring but i was definitely finding my teammates serge Ibaka unfortunately would miss that mid-ranger 76ers on the other end and look at sarge Throwing that one down tough. Okay, yes, yeah, six points. Shot clock is winding down. Kawhi Leonard misses that three ball. I'm there for the offensive putback. I don't know how Mike Muscala didn't grab that offense, that defensive rebound, excuse me, but that was, I'll take it. I will take it. Look at this bounce pass into Kawhi Leonard. Let's go. The bounce pass. What a beautiful delivery as Kawhi Leonard has 26 points. 26. One more three. Nah, he would miss that one. But Jonas is there on a cleanup. So that second quarter was essentially just the Raptors dominating the 76ers. Now, I would leave Covington wide open on that shot. Thankfully, he was not able to drain it. So we get another opportunity here as Danny Green comes right down and drills a three ball of our own. So we go up by 15 points. 76ers are, are, are confused. Just as confused as I am. I don't know how we're winning by 15 points right now by Markel Fault says enough is enough you know it's over when Markel Fault hits a jumper thankfully we're still holding on to this 11 point lead as I get that one inside to Monroe throws it down with two hands as well so still back and forth Robert Covington another miss on a wide open three so he's been off this whole game hasn't looked too good maybe we don't really got to worry about him 
as I get loose on that Fez break to throw that one down. 12 points in this game for PSG. Now I sent over a little double team, but look at this. Bro, these layups from Joel Embiid, what do you do about them? Especially when ones that look like that are going in, there's nothing, nothing you can do because that animation is pre-built to go in. So they can throw up, th throw it up from literally anywhere and it would go in. But hold on, hold on. Take a look at this. Ooh, a little crossover. He thought I was about to go back. Instead, I'm throwing a little Euro step. Crossing over Joel Embiid and finishing that layup. What a beautiful play right there. 57 to 46. Siakam would miss that jumper. 76ers with the opportunity to cut this down to single digits. Robert Covington wide open. And he actually makes a three. So it's been a while since he's hit one. I mean, he missed like two, three in a row. He finally gets one to go. And look at this. Wide open one more time. Robert Covington back-to-back -back threes. It's a six-point game. PSG is not locking up right now. Definitely not a good look defensively. Okay, I can admit I can admit that, PSG family. We got to start turning up defensively. Thankfully, I got that floater to go in to give us a little bit of leeway. Now it's still a seven-point game. Three minutes to go in this third quarter. And Robert Covington is wide open. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. PSG, what are you doing? Four-point game. All right, two minutes to go in the second quarter. Now, I get blocked on that reverse layup. Maybe I can start playing defense. I said, let me let me pull up on TJ McConnell real quick. And look at this dude. Mid-range pull up. Of course, he knocks it down. So, that makes it a three-point game. We need a timeout because the 76ers made this huge comeback after we took that pretty decent lead. And look at Covington fading away. Of course, it goes in. He is on fire. The man is literally on fire right now. 66 apiece. I go strong to the rim. Giving us a little two-point lead. A little bit of leeway. But look at this. Look at this dunk real quick. This is off that LeBron James package. Throwing it down with that left hand. That's a tough dunk. That's a tough dunk. Hopefully, that encourages us a little bit. So into the fourth quarter we go. They would sub me out towards the end of this fourth quarter. And we're down by six. So at this point, I'm thinking to myself, with Robert, Co with Robert Covington being as hot as he is, Joel Embiid being in the game, there is no way we can make this comeback. But the game is not over just yet. Going strong to the rim, the lefty layup off that Euro step, getting that one to drop in. It's a six-point game, three minutes to go, throwing up the floater. We miss it. The 76ers have a chance to build onto their lead. They're looking to do just that, pushing this ball on a fast break. Look at Markel Fultz, the little up and under. Somehow gets that one to go in, and that makes it an eight-point game. Eight-point deficit, three minutes to go. Let's make it happen. Van Vliet goes all the way to the rim, finish that one off, and that makes it a six-point game once again. So back come the 76ers, Robert Covington. I'm trying to lock him up this time. I don't want to give him any breathing space. However... Dario Saric out of nowhere. Yes, he drills it. Nine point game. What are the chances we can make this comeback at this point? Not looking too good. Looking very slim. However, your boy will just continue going strong to the rim and throwing down these dunks. Knocking out cameramen just for the hell of it. It's a seven point game. So Markel Fultz got the ball on the wing right now. Trying to create something. They go inside to Saric. Puts up the layup. And it goes in. Nine point game once again. Now I'm not wasting any time. As you can see, I'm just calling this pick and roll. I'm gonna go strong to the rim. It's kind of funny because I'm just like having my own dunk contest at this point. I've literally thrown down the craziest dunks back to back to back. So it's a seven point game off of inbound. Danny Green gets the three to go. That got my heart up a little bit, man. I was like, did that one go in or did it miss? I don't remember. Now it's a four point game. 76ers. They need something good. Now, Robert Covington will get wide open. Oh, my goodness. I left, I left them wide open. That was definitely my bad. Thankfully, he missed. We come back on the other end. We get the layup to go. And it's a two-point game. Two-point game. One minute to go. Markel Fultz just casually dribbling this one. He's looking for something. I don't know what it is. Robert Covington, he ain't going to get a good look this time. I'm definitely all over him. They go to Joel and beat on the baseline. And look at Greg Monroe. Some great defense. And look, at he sends that one away. We come up with it. We have an opportunity to tie or take the lead right now. So I got the ball in this corner. They would not get out of bounds. That is fine because we, we get to inbound the ball right now. So here we go. We can set this up so that we can take the lead. 
I got the ball on the inbound. Trying to run a little pick and pop with Danny Green because he's been on fire. But I would get ripped up. 76ers come right back. I can't believe I just got ripped up. They go inside to Joel Embiid, and he gets that dunk to go in. And it's a four-point game once again. 30 seconds to go. Now, we already made one comeback. I'm not too worried. So I said, let me go right back to Danny Green. He's putting up another three, and he drills another three. Danny Green is insane. It's a one-point game, four-second shot clock difference. Markel Fultz says, I'm going to drive to the rim, and he turns it over. Fast break opportunity going the opposite way down the lane. The layup is good. We take a one-point lead. Can you believe it? Because I can't. I was literally shocked when this happened. We take a one-point lead. However, still 17 seconds to go. This game is far from over. Robert Covington with the ball on the wing, playing some good defense there. J.J. Redick gets the ball. Danny Green, great defender. The shot goes up, and he's going to miss. I'm flying in for the rebound. We're getting it up court. They don't have a chance to foul, and we just stole. Literally stole game number one from the Philadelphia 76ers on their home court. Can you believe it, PSG family? We literally just stole it. They had like a nine-point lead with two minutes to go. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. But that's how it goes, man. We take that 1-0 lead. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you guys next time.